Dear students, in this class, let us see the effect of introducing a dielectric into the place of a dielectric capacitor. The effect is studied under two topics. One is we introduce the dielectric with the battery connected within the plates. And what will be the effect on these polyxid quantities have tabulated the values. I will fill up the gap as and when we derive the equations. And uh, the next topic is the dielectric introduced into the place with the battery disconnected. Now let us see the first one, the battery connected. Let us consider the capacitor. The capacitor is C now. Given by the equation P0 and V0, it will be connected to a battery voltage V0 and the charge and the capacitor will be Q0. It has been experimentally proved that when a dielectric is introduced into place without disconnecting the battery, the voltage remains constant and the charge on the plates, the new charge on the plates increases by the relative permittivity or dielectric constant of the dielectric. So using this equation, C equal to Q0 may be a basic equation, charge by potential difference, I can derive an expression for the new capacitance after introducing dielectric. The new voltage is the same as the voltage. Therefore, the new capacitance C equal to new charge by new voltage. And uh, so the C equal to substitute for Q from here. So the quantity within bracket is nothing but the capacitance without introducing the dielectric. So therefore the new capacitance is epsilon naught times the original capacitance. As epsilon r is always greater than 1, the new capacitance increases by epsilon r. So the dielectric introduced with the battery disconnected, with the battery connected, the new capacitance, the new charge increases. The charge value is q equal to epsilon r into q naught. And the, the potential difference, there is no change as the battery is still connected. The potential difference across the plates is the same Vina, without change, the same Vina. The capacitance, new capacitance C increases. The new value is epsilon times original value without dielectric value. Now let us see. change in the electric field. As V remains the same, no change in V, distance between the plates also remains constant, therefore the charge, so the electric field between the plates also remains the same. No change. The same electric field. What about the energy store? Let us derive the equation for the energy store. The new energy store in the capacitor equal to half into new capacitance and the new potential difference. Substitute the values half into for C epsilon R into C naught. 
the potential difference is the same. So the new energy store V equal to U equal to and take epsilon R to the front and write the quantity in the brackets, the remaining quantities. Half into half remaining epsilon R, we have half into C naught in R square. Therefore, the new energy store equal to epsilon R into half C naught in R square. Remember that? U naught. The initial value, capital U naught. The energy stored also increases. What about energy density? So the energy stored also increases. U equal to epsilon r times u naught then let us go for energy density energy density equation the new energy density is small u equal to half into here without dielectric epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space after introducing dielectric the permittivity of medium is to be Substituted here, permittivity of medium, it's not into as there is no change in the electric field, there is the same thing. In that square. Therefore, the new energy density equal to half in the regularly known that the permittivity of any medium equal to the product of relative permittivity and the permittivity of free space is the permittivity of the medium. So I have substituted epsilon naught e naught for epsilon and the remaining is in R square. Therefore the new energy density equal to as before take epsilon naught outside the remaining is half into epsilon naught in our squares. The quantity within bracket is energy density without dielectric. So therefore the new energy density equal to epsilon r times the old energy density. The energy density without dielectric. So, so the new energy density also increases. Thank you.